Hello and welcome back to the Xbox Plays Telltale Games Game of Thrones episode number four, Sons of Winter. And with no further talking and rumbling around, let's start. Of course, we have to do the loading and you as the loading screen. And while we have 35 degrees outside and 40 inside my my my, my apartment, so we have the best weather to play a game and to record, of course. Yeah. Don't follow. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down! You can be Lord, Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. <laughs> Well, well, I didn't stab him. I, I stabbed his, his arm, but not through his chest. That chest wound is not from me. I didn't do that. Well, I did that in my last game, but it shouldn't. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored... and burn till there's nothing left of you. This is mad! You're going to execute me! Shut your mouth, Tuttle. A man is dead because of you. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. 
My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Britt attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or oh, he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die unjustly. I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. Oh, even when I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were gonna be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. John. I swear, I honored my vows. Britt wanted to fight, and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's well, move! Let Go move begging on. to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. I do call that a bit of um, lazy writing. Ah, yeah. What I saw last time, when I, when I was talking at the intro like I do right now, that episode wasn't flagged as a copyright episode because my voice still was over the melody at some point or at least in an amount of time that there would be less than 30, se 30 seconds of music time in one go. So that was one thing. But yeah, that was a bit, a bit silly. I didn't kill him. Um, I even had now a eyewitness and it seemed to be um, valid for him. And he still wants to remove my head, even if I was acting in self defense. That is a bit of bad luck, in my, from my point of view. But, well, thing, the one thing that, which, is, which disturbs me a little bit is I didn't step into the chest this, in this game. But in my last game, like two years ago, I did that. I don't know if there was some mix, mix up things happening, but I don't think so. We'll see. If my. Um, um, thing in King's Landing, the letter I burned is still burned. If not, then there's a mistake or an error in that save file. The Kingly Decree. Oh, look at that. That looks like we are the place of the Mother of Dragons, and yes, we are. There is supposed to be awesome soldiers who sometimes die like flies and Do you know dead. how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. I don't care for Liars, that. Liars, every one of them. I and I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I don't... Especially Answer those that. who seek to waste my time. Something wrong with your friend? There will be if he keeps this up. You haven't said a word, Selsword. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before.
Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? I have this. Drogon, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. You can try to justify it all you want, but the truth is, he's dangerous. He's right. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You tell me lies about Drogon. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords. Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My sellswords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. Ah, oh, it's that time one. I just had to... Start my stopwatch. I forgot that, of course, as always. But, but, but what options do I have? What about after the liberation? These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's uh, it! Your Grace! See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city. 
Help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Are we really going into Marine? Hmm. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best get. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Now, I'm not planning to. We got two more. No oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not your leg that's the problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Look at me, Roiland. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're going to give up then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. I can barely walk. Let me just get over there. <laughs> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay, I'll wait for your attack. Let's try it again. Well, at least I could duck. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena, she insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. Hmm. The White Hills. I bet. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Ironrath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! 
I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. They still have the little brother. You oh, brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Dwight will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Ah, ah, and even if that that fast of a choice to make, I barely can read that much before you can make a choice. There, you have my promise. No. This won't work. I'll do it if I must. Oh. Yeah, that's what I think. If I if I kill him, they will kill little brother. Will you help me? I'll do it if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Ah. Oh god, I fear that many, many, many things will go sideways. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell would be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of fancy one hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> Not to I mention wouldn't put Cersei it past her. and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. Hmm. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick about Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. 
Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Yeah, yeah. For everyone. doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Hmm? Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. The North Growth. Growth. Well, luckily I don't have anything to lose anymore, so I can go beyond the Onions wall. and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. A rusty towel. Pick up. That might be useful. That might be many useful things. Just sand. What? Use towel with that thing. Oh, it will break off. Definitely will break off. Garrett! What are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. <laughs> Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? So I'll probably have to press Q or E for that. Here we go. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think... Yeah, someone needs to pull from the outside.
luck. That could have been a shock moment in a pair of shoes just in front of him. Oh shit! Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. Yeah, Finn is alright. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're yep. breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Yep. Isn't it? I'm starving. Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Hmm. This time I'm a lot more aggressive with that guy. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together I then. I hope you survive that. You'd have tried harder for a foster. 
My lord, please. No. I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick, help me. <laughs> Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient. Yes. Just like you were, Roderick. <laughs> Before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. That guy make it, is making me so angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You pay for this in blood. I thought I taught you proper, Roderick. You are not the man in charge now. I am. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. Ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... Ah, goosebumps. <laughs> what is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! Help the maester! Thank you, my lord. What are you doing? Back away. Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! My father will go straight to Roose Bolton. I did warn you. You can away at me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Is that it, then? We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. We have something, something to bargain with. We have Griff. But, ha, before we continue with the storyline in the Reen, we'll take a small break and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.